With me starting the new job, I have decided to take the bus and it's a good decision because it's good for the planet and you don't have the frustration of driving in traffic, trying to find what the road conditions are or where to park. So basically, it's better of two worlds and uh, mass transportation is the future. So this is the goal, um, but the biggest issue with mass transportation is waiting time and now that the winter is close by um, it's really good to know how long you wait in the winter in order to um, catch your bus so you could wait inside a building and then walk up here as you know the bus is closed so this is the actual live feed that is shown in one of the bus stops uh, uh, here in where I live and this is uh, kind of very useful it shows when the next bus is and the bus right after that for a certain route and uh, here they also give an info hey go to this website and you can probably get the same kind of information or some way to get this information so the person that I am I went and looked into their website um, so their website is pretty cool so they have uh, uh, different tools so you can put in your address and find out how which bus to take and the best feature is they also have this track my bus feature so in the track my bus feature you put in a certain route put your direction and the stop and say get arrivals and gives the same information that was in that display so this meant that there is some kind of an api that they're using that is able to show this um, so i found out that this particular company, the ride that is the transportation company in my area, loves developers. And I did a few digging around in their website and found that they have um, a, a web page just made for uh, developers. So, firstly, they have something which I really like, which is the API. And uh, they also give the general transit feed uh, specification and also the geographical uh, location of every bus. So basically using this, you can find out what the route is and then you can get the GPS location of every stop as well as the GPS location of the bus. And then you can feed it into Google um, Maps to find out how long it's going to take for the bus to reach that stop through that route and it, you can get an estimate. So you can do all that, but the best part is they have an API that does all that in the background and just gives you the results. So it's less work for you, less computation power, and it is fantastic. And the best part of this API is a REST API. So all you have to do is supply an API ID and we should be able to get some kind of information. So what is REST API? So REST API is just an HTTP endpoint. So you just put in this particular endpoint here, replace the API ID with whatever they give you. Um, so if you register as a developer, they give you an API. You just plug that in here. So format equal to JSON and route equal to what bus route you want to take and just apply the uh, stop ID and a different tag. So you can say, I just need the top three results. So it populates only the top three results uh, for your case. So what this will give you is this answer. So this is fantastic. So all you have to do is put this in a browser and then it pops out this particular result. So what a browser does is it sends a GET request. So a GET request gets a reply back as this, as a, it's a JSON format. JSON format is quite um, standard in uh, current uh, web-based world that we live in. So the idea is to then extract information from here so you pu put this in and let's say a firefox browser and a firefox browser has an inbuilt json parser and here in this inbuilt json parser it actually uh, splits into two different data sets that it received and from this we can see that it actually has a value for the predicted number of minutes uh, you can actually change the units as well as by giving different values as your inputs um, so here you just put in this and it gives out um, uh, first the closest bus for this particular route for this particular stop is nine minutes away 
The second uh, bus is 39 minutes away. So this is kind of useful. So this is what we want. So we want to exploit this. We want to get this information for uh, trying to figure out how far away we are from a bus stop. Um, so, so that is the idea. So the idea is to then build a device in order to access this RESTful API. Um, so here are the few goals for this particular device. It should be an easy to read interface, fast and responsive. It should be portable, wireless, MQ, should support MQTT so that we can integrate it with Home Assistant and cheap. And um, to come to the rescue is our ESP8266. Um, and we are going to use some NeoPixel rings in order to uh, display this particular information. So how to use these RESTful APIs? So it's all Arduino or C-based uh, libraries. All you have to do is uh, use ESP8266 HTTP client.h. So this, this uh, library comes included with your um, uh, SDK that you install. And uh, all you have to do is define an HTTP client, set a URL, send that URL, get the uh, get code out of the url so if a get code is okay usually if the get code is 200 so that is what this is um, then uh, you have a reply so you then store the reply and end the http so this is as simple as four steps send the request get the code check the code uh, store the reply and end it that's it so once you do that then you can do different kind of things to your um, reply. So this is the same reply that I showed you in the Firefox browser. So how we are going to achieve that is by using Arduino JSON. So the reply that we got here that I showed you earlier can be processed using Arduino JSON and just extract the information that we require. So I am interested in this particular route and there are two different versions. So there's like an A and a B. So I don't have an A and B in this particular example, but that is why I just stored these two values in uh, two different variables or n number of variables in this case i'm storing in six different variables so one two three four and five six um, so six different variables so this way i can find out how far a certain um, so a or a b is in terms of minutes so then um, we also integrate some mqtt code we use pubsub client in order to throw this particular result in a JSON format as well. And then what we can do is read these values in Home Assistant. So here uh, I just created template uh, MQTT sensors where it reads these values and puts it into a certain uh, sensor in Home Assistant. So you can create all kinds of automations, uh, push notifications, stuff like that. So not only that, um, we also use the inbuilt NTP library that is included with the SDK in order to figure out what the stop ID is. That is, let's say um, we are uh, in the morning, that is before noon, the stop ID could be the stop ID near a house and afternoon, um, the stop ID change, changes into um, the work address, the, the stop that is close to the work. So basically, uh, we get this information uh, based on the time of the day. And uh, since this is an internet controlled NTP uh, protocol, so we have the exact day uh, and time um, as well. So we also pass that uh, to Home Assistant so we know actually when we got this data as well. So in order to represent this particular data, we uh, I decided to use a NeoPixel ring. Um, so since I said there are two different versions, A and B of a bus type. So when it's A, it's this particular blue. When it is B, it's this particular blue. And then each of these uh, colors represent um, different time points. So basically if it's more than 15 minutes, it's going to be green. If it's between eight and 15 minutes, it's going to be yellow and um, if it is less than eight minutes, it's going to be red. So basically, um, I have I am tracking three different buses. So I'm going to use five uh, NeoPixels for each bus, and the five for the next, and the five for the next. And we are not going to use this. We can use this for maybe in the future to show maybe some kind of weather conditions, whether we are a jacket or something like that. Uh, we can use this for some other purpose. For but for uh, but for now. Uh, I'm just using this to display how far a bus is. So here is an example. Let's say uh, the first bus is a 4A uh, that is nine minutes away. The second bus is 4B that's 39 minutes away. And the third bus is 
uh, 47 minutes away. So each uh, slot over here uh, represents 15 minutes. So 15, 15 is 30. And then you have nine minutes, which qualifies as this yellow particular marker. And this is nine minutes away. So this only qualifies as the yellow one. And uh, this one is uh, 47. So 15, 15, 15 is 45. And then um, two more minutes is in red so basically in one glance i know there are three buses on my way two are of a type and one is b type and one maybe i can catch it if i run which is nine minutes away from a house and uh, these two buses ha are kind of far away so i maybe i can wait for another 15 minutes and then walk to the bus stop so this is a cool way just look at it uh, before you leave and immediately you will know um how far a, a person is from uh, the bus